May the Lord God of grace and peace be with you this day. Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we come before you now, seeking your presence. Whether we in storm or whether we are on peaceful shores, Lord, help us to feel your presence and in your presence to bring praise before you and all we say and do. Lord, we pray for those who praise, who work, who walk with us, that we will be a good witness of faith. We pray for those, though distant from us, Lord, will will encounter the revelation of your word through the living out of our lives. Lord, we pray this day for those who are about to influence us, that we will be alert and awakened for the way that you will speak to us through those you've put in our lives, through the circumstances we will face, for the challenges that are before us. Lord, let us work and walk in your will. In Christ we pray. Amen. We look out into a day like today and we can wonder and be in awe at the beauty and stillness of it. But as we wonder at the stillness of this, let us find our stillness and peace in God's word. Turning to Psalm 107 at verse 23. They that go down to the ships, down to the sea in the ships, that do business in great waters... These seek the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind which lifteth the waves thereof. They mount up to the heavens, they go down to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like drunken men and are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their de desired haven. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. In the distance you can hear the, the rallying, I think, of seagulls and other seabirds. Here close to shore you hear the pip piping of, of pipers. And then there's the gentle breeze. And in such a context, we can find ourselves rejoicing in the peace of life. Very often this peace is something we would take for granted. When things are like this, it's easy just to sit back and find our own ease. And only in our times of real trouble do we turn to the Lord, seeking help from Him. It is good to be at the work of the Lord at all times. And so the psalmist calls to our attention the situation, the, the, the circumstances of those who go down to the sea to work. That they know it is to rise and to fall at, at the moment's whim. To be at peace at the sea in one moment and then tossed to and fro, up and down. And to be in, in real trouble. But we don't just seek the Lord in our times of trouble. We seek the Lord while he may be sought. In moments like these, in moments when the storms assail us. And so, wherever you are in life, now is the time. Now is the time to, to find your journey with the Lord in a deeper and richer way. To turn to his word, to, to, to dwell on that word. To find your place in the midst of it to grow in your vocation, your calling that you have from God. And so when there are times like this, it is all the more peaceful. And you know from where that peace comes. And when there is times of trouble, you are already about the work that God would have you do to bring back those days of peace, to still the hearts of those who are in trouble who have become lost in fear, and to be ready to serve, to at least, at the very least, to offer a perspective that looks forward with hope, with the understanding that God has been and is always there in our times of trouble, in the moments of peace. Walk and work in the love of the Lord. May God be praised. Amen.